Today I've got a really cool tool that I want you to see. I've shown it in other videos, but I think it deserves its own video. And no, it isn't a Harbor Freight 20 ton shot press, but it does make that shot press easier to use. That press comes with this jack handle. It's used to just pump it up like this. And then when you're ready to release, you put these notches onto the valve and then you give it a twist. This thing is really awkward. It just falls apart and I hate using it. So here's what I did to modify this jack. So this knob fits really tight right over that release valve. Just twist it and then get a four millimeter Allen and put in that set screw until it reaches the valve. That'll just put a little bit of pressure on it and keep it from coming off. There you go, that's it. So now whenever I'm using the press, I've got two independent controls and I don't have to use this goofy lever to release the jack. If you've been watching the channel, you'll know I've got an engine swap project going on. And of course I'm using a Harbor Freight two-ton hoist with that same valve release there. I bought a second knob, it goes right over there. It doesn't come off and we'll tighten that down. We'll be ready to go. That way, if I want to lower the engine, I can leave this handle attached to the hoist and I don't have to drag it out and use it here on the valve. This is always ready to go anytime I need to drop that engine. Check out Hartco Engineering. They have a store on eBay where they sell those knobs. I've left a link down in the description so that you can check them out for yourselves. Now I'm not affiliated with them in any kind of way. They don't even know who I am. I just really think you'll like these tools. Check them out, Hartco Engineering. Until next time, thanks for watching. Click here to stay up to date on all my future videos. And click here to catch up on previous episodes. I'll wait up for you.